want this. So one of two things happened. I either got you with the thumbnail or what you just saw was like really cool and you wanna learn how to build this. So surprisingly, it's actually not that hard at all. I've already done most of it. Uh, I don't actually explain this, how the software works in this video, but I might make uh, end up making one in the future if this gets a lot of views. So pretty much uh, what you just saw was a little security camera that I put in my basement and it runs on this thing, this little Raspberry Pi. And so it's not just this on its own. What I actually do is I take this, is I take this battery pack, uh, it's just like a, essentially a, just a portable battery pack, and I take my uh, Logitech C922. I think it's Logitech something, I, I don't know what it's called. But anyways, it, it, it's a camera that works, and you essentially just plug them both in. So if I were to show you, I essentially take this Pi, I take my little wire here, I pop it in to the battery pack, and then this cord goes in there, and it turns on. Wonderful. And then the second part is just, we take this camera, and we shove it into one of those. And now you have both connected, and that's honestly it, just, uh, just these. That's all it is. It looks like a lot, but just three three objects, just a Pi, a battery pack, and a camera. That's all you need for this. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is just head to the GitHub repo in the uh, description below, and you're going to come to this. So if I just go back, and yeah, this is what you're going to see. So first off, uh, you're going to SSH into Raspberry Pi, and SSHing isn't uh, too bad. Linux actually makes it very easy to set up SSH on your Raspberry Pi. So all I'm going to do is just uh, type in this command, uh, and your Raspberry Pi may be different than mine, so you are probably going to have a different uh, little login thing there. Um, oh, Raspberry Pi. Okay. And then you type in your password, and uh, you're in. Okay, awesome. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go uh, make a direct, or let's just list for now. Okay. So we're in the we're in the like main sort of directory here, and what I'm going to do next is just going to make something called temp just for like temporary because we're making a video here. Um, then I'm going to go cd into this temp directory. Okay, and you can see that there's nothing actually inside of here, and that's great. So next, what we can do is just go git clone, uh, and then just take this, um, just take this link, and paste it and that will clone it into this temp repo or just this, this temp uh, folder sorry and so if we do ls now you'll see that you get security pi so I'm going to cd into this and we have a readme a requirements and a security pi so next up um, we're actually going to I mean what I would recommend for you guys is to uh, create a virtual environment just like this so python uh, dash m uh, v and v v and v uh, and that'll create a virtual environment for you and then this essentially just isolates your current uh, the in the libraries in the python package uh, from everything else globally so they're like isolated and they won't like sort of intertwine with each other and mess it up so it's just a more safe route but it will take some time to download um, and in order, in, or, in order to activate this we can just go source um, venv slash bin slash activate and you'll see that it pops up right there um, but I'm not going to use virtual environment because I already have all these packages installed so I'm just going to deactivate um, and then remove that okay so next up what you're going to need to do is just um, pip install dash r and then uh, requirements about txt and before you do this a good idea just to make sure that all your like uh, system dependencies are up to date is just go uh, sudo apt uh, update that's just going to ensure that uh, your Raspberry Pi system is all up to date um, and so you can see that it's supposed to take actually quite a long time um, but and boom it's just done like that so 
this is what it should look like and you should do this like usually every week or so or every few days if you're working on the pi frequently um, so sudo apt update is the first command and then sudo apt um, upgrade is the second so we'll just wait for this to uh, finish up here and done so sudo apt upgrade is the second one awesome and so Next up, while this is happening, I'm just going to navigate to the uh, Discord dev portal and we'll just get this set up ready to work in uh, momentarily. I'm going to create a new application here. We'll just name it uh, Security, Security Pi, sure. And then we'll just create that. Awesome. Uh, so now once you're in here, and we're just going to get this bot, bot set up whilst uh, the commands are running. Uh, so in here, what we're going to go to do is just head over to uh, bot and we are just going to check off every little uh, switch except for this one. So the top one and then one, two, three, and then save changes. The next thing we're going to need to do is just pop over to uh, the URL generator. We're going to go bot. Um, and then we have a generated URL. And if, if you don't see this generated URL right away, just make sure that you have this as none uh, because it'll start to like give you more. It's, it's, it's essentially uh, a, sec a second version of authentication, which just makes it a little bit uh, more difficult to set up the bot. Uh, but once you have that, uh, we could just like paste it into the browser. It'll say security pie, add it to your server. I'll just go, this is like the test server I use. Um, and boom, we should see it. Security Pi is offline. Wonderful. Okay, now what's next? So, okay, awesome. All this is done installing. Our everything is up to date, and now we can go uh, pip install dash r uh, requirements, just like that. And this will essentially just download all of the uh, packages and dependencies that you need uh, to run this bot. So that would be Discord, OpenCV. Uh, I think a dot, it's called python.env. Um, but anyways, we, we could even just open it and see what these are uh, requirements. So the dot env, this loads your environment variables, discord, uh, opencv, and numpy for just like math and uh, computer vision. Awesome. Uh, so now we can actually uh, begin coding a little bit. So I'm going to uh, touch, oh, we already have one, I think. We could just go touch uh, .env. There might be already one here um, by the time the repo is updated, but the point is we just need a an, an, uh, .env file. I'm gonna go uh, nano into that. Okay, awesome. So this thing did actually exist, it just wasn't showing, but um, yeah. So we just need to add these in now, and this is pretty simple to do. So to get these, uh, we're just going to pop over to, uh, where did it go, token, reset token. This is just in bot, and you click that. Uh, yes, do it. And I'm just going to pop over, pop over to my phone here and just get the uh, password or the 2FA code. All right, now we can copy this. And don't worry about like um, any like leaks or anything because this bot will be completely erased by the time the video comes out. Uh, so this is just for like test purposes. Um, so this Discord token can go in there. Uh, channel ID, we can go in here, copy channel ID, paste that, and it'll just be like whatever channel you want. Uh, it's security logger for, you know, it's, that's pretty self-explanatory. And then you just like copy uh, your own user ID and then paste that into user ID. Then you just go uh, control O to write out, press enter, and then control X to close that. And now uh, if we go in, those changes are saved. Awesome. Uh, next up, we're going to need to create an images directory. So make dir mk dir images. And this is just going to create us an image directory where we're going to store all of these uh, images that are being uploaded. Um, so allow me to just attempt this security bot now. And I just have my Raspberry Pi next to me. Um, okay, awesome. So it's actually showing, and this is just me working on my Mac here. 
Awesome. So I'll go ahead and turn this off. And you guys can see that it says motion detected at this time. So 2023, uh, December 1st at uh, 1653 p.m. or uh, it's pretty close to 454 p.m. This is just military time. Um, you could always adjust that if you wanted to, but uh, this is this is what it looks like right now. So this is uh, this is pretty cool. And if you're wondering, like, is it just going to spam my Discord server with all these motion detected notifications? And the answer is you can actually change that. So if we just nano into the security pie here, um, we can go down to delay and this is just the delay in seconds so I can set this to like I can set this to one and you'll see how that uh, you'll see how that plays out here so it's gonna turn on in a second oh, yeah there we go so it's going a lot quicker now. The only thing limiting it is upload speed and uh, image processing speed. So that's our only limitation here. Um, but anyways, yeah, so you can you can change that. I'm gonna change it back to uh, like 20 or 30 just because I don't want it to spam the crap out of my server. I think 30 seems like pretty reasonable here. Um, and you know, I'll just delete these. And so that's like pretty much how you set this thing up. If you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like or subscribe. It really helps me out. It also helps you out too, because uh, you get to see amazing content like this on your recommended. Um, but it, again, it's totally free. You can unsubscribe at any time. Uh, it really doesn't matter. It's, it's, a, it's a free subscription thing. It's whatever. Um, but if you do want to get in touch with me one-on-one uh, -on -one, or even through my Discord server or on Twitter, uh, both of those are in the, in the link in the description, so you can join those. Uh, the GitHub repo for this project is also in the description. Um, yeah, that's all, folks.